for Gecko. We wanted to create something a little more lighthearted on the thematic side, but also find ways to make these mini objectives and change how you think of the game. For players that might not have tried the initiated role or are a little bit intimidated by some of the other agents we offer, we wanted to create an agent that was a little more approachable and had some really clear call to actions. You see a lot of this on Killjoy, where a lot of the utility you place, you know what it's going to do, and it gives you the cues. With things being localized, things happening kind of around you, it makes it a lot easier compared to some of our flashes that tends to happen like over there. For all of our agents, we start with like a paper kit, a lot of brainstorming, and again, a lot of collaboration with the rest of the team. Kind of get some ideas on paper and start to see it in game. We start with an agent hook and kind of like a, what does this round to round look like? One of the cool things we've always wanted to try was making these mini objectives that you can engage with round to round. So it started off as like these little robots that you kind of threw. In my head, you're this inventor and you had these little gadgets that broke into scrap and you'd go forward and grab them and just kind of rebuild them. I think what we got instead was these little creatures that almost like beg for you to, to pick them up and try again. We wanted to create a character that you cared about their abilities in some way. How do we make you as a player like fall in love with this thing you're throwing out that's gonna shoot energy at someone else. The whole reason we got to these little creatures that you see Gecko has as his companions, his friends, was the idea that you needed to go and pick them back up. Every one of your companions should give you this feeling of like, oh, I can move forward. I have the information to take new ground, to clear a corner. With the reclaim model, you get to do something that feels very fun or very fluid. If your team works together, you can grab the orb and, and do it again. So like this infinite loop of fun. <laughs> After the paper kit, we start to see what the signature looks like, or maybe even an ultimate. We start to see kind of what the hook is. And once we're locking the hook, we start to see a lot of narrative and art, and we start to ask ourselves, how can we actually share the story of what we want to do? How can we make players feel what we want the agent to feel like? As we were looking to bring Gecko to life, we narrowed in on LA pretty quickly. This is kind of the, the stopping ground of Gecko. We always try to place our characters in a very specific location because the risk of not doing so is to end up creating a character that is a one-size-fits-all. As we were researching Gecko, we tried to come out here, take a look around, talk to people, and make sure that we knew where they came from, what was in their backyard, what their day-to-day -day looked like. We work directly with our voice talent, who's actually from Boyle Heights, and helping them be an authentic part of shaping the character. East LA has such a tight-knit community. Everybody's coming from a different walk of life. It's very oriented around the family. And so I hope that players get to experience that when they see Gecko and see the companionship that he shares with all of his creatures. They're not just friends, that's a found family. As we were exploring this idea of like, what does it mean to grow up in a globally connected world as a first generation person in between two cultures, we wanted to visit that perspective from the current generation. Right now, that is happening more than ever across the planet. Gecko really is at that intersection. When he goes home, he is steeped in the Mexican heritage of his immigrant parents. When he goes out into the world beyond the immediate community, he's stepping into the multicultural modern city of LA. As our agents fight to literally save the world, uh, that is quite a heavy burden to bear. And you see that seriousness come through in a lot of our more militarized agents. And we kind of realized that it really would be nice to diversify that range with someone with a little bit of that younger charm. A lot of the look of Gecko was inspired by like the LA fashion scene. What he wears is so different than the puffy yellow jacket of Killjoy or the stylized jacket of Yoru or Phoenix. We see comments online of a, of a player seeing themselves represented in one of our agents, and it really just fuels us to do the work. Being able to do that for as many people and as many cultures has been 
a big thing for us in creating like a united global community. I hope that players kind of have a lot of fun with the kit. I think we've had a lot of fun making it and actually pretty proud that we were able to get an agent that really pushes some of the boundaries of how you think about the game. He is a modern, young, aspirational, confident guy. He shows up for his team. Every aspect of, of who Gecko is lines up around our thinking of what Valorant is. And it's so nice when those two things come together. <laughs>